Teenagers who were part of a Black Lives Matter demonstration say a man interrupted the protest when he drove his truck toward the crowd. Now, those protesters say it was frightening. And they're asking police now to actually charge that man behind the wheel with a crime. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Newton tonight with more on the story. Beth? Well, that demonstration took place here in the circle outside Newton City Hall. Protesters say if this individual didn't agree with their message, he could have exercised his First Amendment rights and left peacefully. Instead, they say actions spoke louder than words. I hear the horn in the video and I still get jumpy. It was a warning of what was to come as a group of mostly teenage protesters took to the steps outside Newton City Hall on Tuesday calling for racial justice. All black lives matter? Yes. What about the unborn black? But barely a minute into the demonstration, protesters say video captures a man who had just left City Hall beginning to taunt the crowd with what they thought was an anti-abortion message. Don't come to Some parents stepped in urging him to leave. You could hear his engine revving and it was just terrifying. But he jumped in a blue pickup truck and protesters say turned his vehicle around to speed up through the young crowd. I don't know if he specifically had wanted to harm someone, but I don't think he cared if he did. Protesters say police on the scene did little to intervene, but Newton's mayor insists an investigation is underway. If that uh, driver endangered the lives of, of peaceful protesters, we want him charged. And while no one was injured, protesters say it came closer than the video shows. And they hope these photos will help police identify him. All this, they say, as young black speakers were telling their personal stories, a message they believe has now been overshadowed by someone racially insensitive. I can't understand, like, what could get you to the point where you would want to intentionally try and hurt people, especially children, when we're at a peaceful protest and we're trying to make a difference. No word yet from police if charges will be filed, but these young protesters say they won't be intimidated, and they are circulating a petition to have this man held responsible. Reporting live from Newton, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.